UPI Almanac for Sunday, December 10, 2023 On December 10, 2013, Mary Barra became CEO of General Motors, the first woman to head a major automotive company. UPI Almanac for Sunday, December 10, 2023, one of two on December 10, 2013, Mary Barra became CEO of General Motors, the first woman to head a major automotive company. File photo by Olivier Dullieri slash UPI license photo today is Sunday, December 10, the 344th day of 2023 with 21 to follow. The moon is waning. Morning stars are Jupiter, Mars, and Uranus. Evening stars are Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Neptune, Saturn, Uranus, and Venus. Those born on this date are under the sign of Sagittarius. They include abolitionist-slash-journalist William Lloyd Garrison in 1805, mathematician Ada Lovelace in 1815, poet Emily Dickinson in 1830, librarian Melville Dewey, inventor of the Dewey Decimal Book Classification System, in 1851, poet Nellie Sachs in 1891, novelist Clarice Lispector in 1920, actor Tommy Kirk in 1941, actor Susan Day in 1952, age 71, actor Michael Clark Duncan in 1957, actor-slash-director Kenneth Branagh in 1960, age 63, singer-slash-actor Nia Peoples in 1961, age 62, celebrity chef Bobby Flay in 1964, age 59, musician Meg White in 1974, age 49, actor. Emmanuel Creaky in 1975, age 48, actor Xavier Samuel in 1983, age 40, actor Raven Simone Pierman in 1985, age 38, musician slash actor slash director Tiana Taylor in 1990, age 33, actor Melissa Roxburgh in 1992, age 31, singer Morgan Wade in 1994, age 29, in 1768, Encyclopedia Britannica was first published. In 1817, Mississippi joined the United States as the 20th state. In 1869, the territory of Wyoming granted women the right to vote. In 1898, Spain signed a treaty officially ending the Spanish-American War. It gave Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines to the United States. In 1901, the Nobel Prizes were first awarded in Oslo, Norway, and Stockholm, Sweden. In 1906, U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt became the first American to win the Nobel Peace Prize. In 1936, Britain's King Edward VIII abdicated to marry American divorcee Wallace Warfield Simpson. His brother succeeded to the throne as King George VI. In 1941, Japanese troops landed on northern Luzon in the Philippines in the early days of World War II. In 1950, U.S. diplomat Ralph Joseph Bunch received the Nobel Peace Prize for his peace mediation during the First Arab-Israeli War. He was the first African-American to win the award. In 1984, the National Science Foundation reported the discovery of the first planet outside the solar system 21 million light-years from Earth. In 1990, communists won a major victory in the first post-war multi-party elections in the Yugoslavian republics of Serbia and Montenegro. In 2006, General Augusto Pinochet, the former president of Chile who seized power in a bloody 1973 coup and ruled the nation for 17 years, died at the age of 91. In 2009, President Barack Obama accepted the Nobel Peace Prize, urging attendees to reach for the world as it ought to be. In 2010, Chinese dissident and Nobel Peace Prize winner Liu Xiaobo, represented by a portrait and an empty chair, was honored during the Nobel presentations in Oslo, Norway. Liu was in a northeastern China prison serving an 11-year sentence for subversion and his family was forbidden from attending the ceremony. In 2013, Mary Barra became CEO of General Motors, the first woman to head a major automotive company. In 2021, an outbreak of 71 tornadoes struck portions of Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Tennessee, and Kentucky on this day and December 11, 2021. The destructive storms killed at least 89 people and caused nearly $4 billion in damage. In 2022, Grant Wall, a sports journalist and soccer analyst, died while covering the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. A thought for the day, you can become a winner only if you are willing to walk over the edge. American writer.